Hello everyone, I am Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC giving you a closer look at the Rev and the Rev2 Lite head and neck restraints from NextGen. Alright, so today we're giving you a closer look at the Rev and the Rev2 Lite head and neck restraints coming from NextGen, also known as a Hans device and that stands for head and neck support device. These are a critical piece of safety gear when you're racing your UTV. And what's great about both of these neck restraints is that they are approved by the SFI. So they do meet the mandates and they are approved for UTV racing. Now, as you can see on the table, we got two that we're gonna talk about today. We've got the Rev and the Rev2 Lite. So we will cover the differences between the two because you are gonna jump up in price from the Rev to the Rev2 Lite. So we'll kind of explain, you know, which one you think might be best for you. We'll explain how these work and how you get these installed as well. So with both of these, the way they're constructed is they use a carbon composite material, so it makes it strong, very rigid, but also lightweight. You can see the shoulder pads are nice and soft. No frontal yoke on these. That's to protect the front of the rider's chest and that collarbone area. Now, the big difference is between the two. There's going to be three, okay? This is going to help you decide which one you're going to want to go with. So with the Rev2 and the Rev2 Lite, if we look at the back here, first thing you're going to notice is that the Rev2 Lite is going to be a little bit more low profile, so it's not going to sit quite up as high as the Rev. Also, you're gonna notice that with the shoulder pads or with the shoulder strap area, okay, both of these are gonna fit a two or a three inch shoulder strap. But you can see with the Rev2 Lite, they have what they call their friction pads. So just there to give a little bit more grip for the shoulder pads. And also weight, you're gonna be a little bit lighter with the Rev2 Lite, comes in at 1.3 pounds. So it's not a huge difference, but if you do pick the two up, you will notice that the Rev2 Lite is lighter. And the big feature that's gonna really separate the two that in my opinion is gonna be the adjustable tethers. So with the Rev2 Lite, you can see, you're just gonna loosen this bolt that you have right here in the front. That will allow you to adjust the length of these tethers. With the Rev, those are not adjustable. However, with NextGen, they have predetermined the length of those tethers to what they feel is gonna be best and also give the best safety for the rider. So that's a predetermined length. But again, if you wanna be able to adjust it and have that fine tuning, then you'd want to go with the Rev2 Lite. So it's really simple. You're just gonna place it right over your shoulders. Then you can take your shoulder straps, put those on. Remember, two or three inch straps. But once you have that in place, you're gonna take the hardware kit. Now this will be actually installed on your helmet. So once you have this installed, we'll talk about that here in just a moment. You're just gonna take your tether, and that tether is just gonna clip right in, almost just like a seat belt. So very simple to do. But once you've done that, you are now attaching the rider's helmet to the actual head and neck restraint. By doing that, again, you're getting that support to the back for whiplash, you also have side to side, but now, if you have that big jolting motion going forward, okay, that momentum, if you have a crash or an impact, this is going to protect the rider's head from that forward momentum. Now, to get this off, it's really simple. You're just gonna take this tether, or this red cord that you have, this nylon cord, you're gonna pull down on it, and that will allow this to come right off. Now, it's very important, okay, this is some advice that's coming from a rider here at Rocky Mountain that did the entire works racing series last year. Get familiar with these. Okay, you can see that these nylon cords are not that long, and when you're UTV racing, you're gonna be wearing some gloves. So you just wanna make sure that you're comfortable and that you have good muscle memory and know where to reach to grab these. So if you need to get these off in a hurry, if you have an, a, you know, a situation where you need to get out of the restraint as quickly as possible, you just wanna make sure you know exactly where you should be grabbing to grab these. Because once you pull on it, you're actually gonna have the rider turn their head to the left and to the right to release these from the clips. Now, how you install it, it's really simple. Okay, a couple things you do want to keep in mind. Okay, you're going to have three options basically when it comes to helmets. Some helmets are going to come with holes pre-drilled that have inserts bonded in. And if that, were be, if that is the case, you're just going to take this piece here and just screw it right into that bonded insert. Some helmets are going to have holes pre-drilled, but they do not have inserts bonded in. In that situation, you're going to take this flat piece here. That's going to mount on the inside of the helmet. And this is going to be your insert and then you're just gonna screw on the outer piece. Now, some helmets aren't gonna have any holes drilled, period. In that situation, you are gonna have to drill holes in your helmet to get this mounted. So if you have that type of helmet, okay, also remember with your helmet, make sure it is approved by the SFI that it meets the mandatory requirements for safety. But if you do not have holes drilled, pick up the manual that comes from NextGen. In here, they give detailed instructions of where you measure, how you measure it, and also just how to get those holes drilled for those for the hardware kit. It's very important, follow the instructions, they're very detailed, that's gonna make sure you're doing everything correctly, and once you have that done, you're ready to wear your head and neck restraint device. And that is it. That is the Rev2 Lite and the Rev head and neck restraints coming from NextGen. If you guys do have any questions, just write those below, or 
You can ask your questions on the product page, get answers for customers who have bought and are using these neck restraints. Remember guys, to pick yours up, click on the link or head over to rockymountainatvmc.com. Orders over $75 ship free. These are gonna fit the bill. If you guys like this video, you wanna see more like it, along with our UTV racing series called Race Ready. If you haven't watched that, it's awesome, so give it a look. Also along with our UTV builds and all the other product spotlight videos that we do, well, you gotta make sure and subscribe. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.